No, I'm not usually what you call a rapscallion, a uh, delinquent, if you will, you know. Uh, I wasn't really a rebellious one, and I wouldn't really consider myself as one, even in present times. But when my friend presented the idea of going to the school's roof to me one day, how could I resist? We were just chilling in an area within the school called the uh, gym. Uh, Although in the nine, almost ten years of me having stayed in that same school, I, I still never understood why the area is called the gym. There's, there's no weights, there's no dumbbells or anything, I don't know why. I, th I think it's more of a recreation room, because you also use it for dance practicing. I, I won't really go into detail on that any further, it's not like I go to a dance school, it's just that... Um, it's just that we have these festivals every school year, and we have to do dances. Yeah, it kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But anyways, uh, my friends and I were chilling in this uh, quote-unquote gym during lunch break. We always chilled here because there was not a lot of people around, aka no kids. So it was, pr it was pretty peaceful, you know? It was, it was nice and calming, nice relaxing area to have your meals in and just chill out during the break before all hell comes loose again when classes begin. Uh, so peaceful, in fact that we sometimes nap there so yeah that's how peaceful it is there and yeah i think my friend was actually going to the roof a lot already so you know just to chill if he just didn't really feel like doing anything else he just yeah he just chilled there and we wanted to go there too so we planned for this sketchy action to be done the next day which is a saturday we don't usually have saturday classes but we had one that day because uh uh, I honestly don't remember the exact reason, but it might have been something related to practicing for Christmas carols. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I honestly don't even remember because it was like about two years ago almost. Or maybe a year and a half. Anyways, Saturday comes around and I prepared myself a mug, my phone, a power bank, some earphones, and a couple downloaded episodes of, uh, Darling of the Franks. Yeah. I know. I mean, it, I mean, it was a good show when I initially watched it. Then I watched Evangelion, and uh, yeah, hmm. I'm just gonna say my views have changed. Uh, anyways, moving back to the story, I walked into the cafeteria to uh, buy some coffee, you know, to put into my mug. Jasper's coffee being sold in school uh, now that i look back on it our cafeteria was pretty sick there there there, there was tempura being sold there was like some shomai there was some um there were there was some lugao if you don't know what that is it's basically like rice soup it tastes pretty good especially with like some pepper and rice i mean you could even buy some instant noodles there actually no i don't think you can anymore but whatever it was actually pretty nice the only thing it was missing was like maybe pizza and maybe Taho, which is another kind of like, I guess, street food here in the Philippines. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Whatever. Anyways, looking back at the day itself now, I'm actually surprised I didn't walk into any teacher or supervisor that would have stopped me from going to the gym. Like, it, it, was, it was like early in the morning. Classes haven't begun. So I guess it makes sense. But now that I, but now that I think about it, I, it's, I feel like it's kind of unorthodox that a no supervisor was like hey you're not supposed to be here then again that really never happens whenever we chill out there anyways so yeah anyways i walk into the gym and i think only one or two of my friends are, were there at that time and there's four of us including me so we waited around and i just kind of sit there once we were all complete the final challenge begins and that is sneaking onto the roof itself you know and actually doing it uh, the tricky is, uh, <laughs> the tricky is, damn, awesome. Uh, the tricky thing is, we had to pass by this auditorium that we have that has, I believe, three floors, and we have to use the stairs by the backstage, and that leads to the rooftop, like the door to the rooftop. We had to go quickly, but quiet, because there might be people around that can catch us, because people will be practicing there soon. It sounds so sketchy, out of context. I mean, it is sketchy within context, but we eventually make it to the roof through a couple flights of stairs and we shut the door behind us. Uh, we put a rock in front of the door. Uh, and honestly, it was pretty nice up there. It was, you, you could feel the breeze of the, of the air just 
coming across your face it, it was pretty nice and relaxing uh if only i w had watched a, um, a different show <laughs> i'm just kidding i kind of wish i took a couple pictures if i do find the pictures then i will show it in the video obviously not like too revealing of pictures that would like show what school i'm in or some shit like that you know just pictures of the sky or something i don't know if i could even find any i think i actually did take a picture or multiple pictures but i'm not sure where they are anymore i don't know why they're gone or missing but yeah moving on we just kind of chill up there uh, i watch anime and drink my coffee but then my friend realizes he left his phone in the bathroom of a restaurant he went in before going to the school. What a genius. So he rushes downstairs after that and went straight to the restaurant's bathroom. And thankfully, his phone is intact. Somehow. It's just an absolute miracle. Another thing was, though, is that the roof we were on wasn't even the highest point that we could go. Like, beside us, there was a ladder that could go to an even higher roof. And... You know, we, we all knew that was too dangerous, so we didn't even bother going. But, you know, inside me, I knew I was tempted to still go. Even though I'm afraid of heights, so I don't know. I don't know why, but yeah. After a couple of hours, we decided to go back down again, and for this to be successful, we had to be very quiet and stealthy, so we won't be able to be seen by anyone in the auditorium, because there were people practicing at that point in time. So we had to stay out of their line of sight and hope we don't get uh, caught by some like janitor or some shit, I don't know. We managed to run and exit to a different uh, gate in the school. So yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it. Uh, quite the thrilling experience, but it, it was still a nice one, honestly. I uh, wouldn't suggest trying it out though, unless you know the bad things that can happen and you're ready for them, but yeah, pretty memorable all in all. Uh, we also ran into some classmates on the way out, and they probably thought we were late or something, but I think they were also late, because I don't know, I actually don't even know anymore, honestly, like, I really don't know what happened there, but yeah. This one's kind of a different video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed either way, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna keep making some of these random story time videos, I guess you can say, because yeah. I don't know, I've got a lot of wacky stories. Yeah, see you in the next one.